diaper hangers and they're just they're disappearing. Gone. This is what happens. A lot of times when we hang to dry, we have a, a heap of hangers mm -hmm. and they're tangled up. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna mm -hmm. just get rid of this heap of hangers and oh boy. It's a mess. <laughs> that is a mess. Yeah. Wow. This is the hanger holder. Holds up to 30 plastic hangers, up to 50 of the velvet hangers that you love, yes. and up to 100 wire hangers. So now, when you do your laundry, you just take it off. You want to stack them up, you stack them up like that. So it's so easy to hang up the delicates, the sweaters now that we're taking out. If you want to hang dry, this is how to do it. And you know the best thing to me is that you can leave it right on top of the dryer yes. or you can actually hang this. This is customer top rated if you want to go to qvc.com and see what people are saying. Here's an example of it hanging either on the inside or the outside of your door. V32819, it's under $20, which I think is such a small price to pay to help us organize because I've never seen anything that actually organizes the hangers quite like this. It's never been done before. Martha McKenzie invented this. She's a mom and she was this, the same way, going through the laundry, trying to find all the hangers. After you iron, what do you do? Put this shirt on the back of a chair. Right. Now you have all your hangers right there so it's easy to get organized. Now, you know, laundry is not fun. So if there's one thing that can get you through the laundry quicker, it's right. a big plus in my book. This holds up to 30 of those um, plastic hangers, up to 50 of my velvet hanger. I have the clutter-free ones. Mm -hmm. Now I want to show you too, there's also a patented swing out arm on each side. So two swing out arms. Yeah, so you can hang dry things right here too. You can steam them right here. Steam like, them. Get your outfit together in the morning. Now we talked about the abyss of the closet when you can't find anything. You yeah. think I have no hangers left. Sometimes they're just hidden in there. Mm -hmm. And look at this. I'm going to go ahead. Here I have a whole bunch of hangers that normally, right. you know, you it's can't It's taking find. up room in yeah. your closet. So take a few minutes, go through your closet, take all those empty hangers that are not being used. Wow, Look at how much room huge you get back space over here. saver. And now everything is easy to access. It's easy to hang things up. And also, look at this, look at all, you didn't even see all the room that yeah. we just got back <laughs> from removing. So imagine if you've got your hangers in like every third or fourth garment, there's just like an empty hanger that's and, hanging there. That's why we keep losing these things because they just end up in the abyss of the closet, like you were exactly. saying. Exactly, or let's say the closet is so full. So you have company coming, you just close the closet oh, up pardon me, my and dear. hang it on the outside of the closet. Here, now the guests can come over and they can hang up their things right here. And so here's a question. We um, first of all down on the bottom of the screen you can see the reviews if you'd like to read along with those while you're hanging out with us do we need to screw this in or hard oh, no. do this in Actually, or is you just put it over the door please I'm <laughs> she's I, like I, please, I, I, please please we gotta Thursday keep this morning, easy please. the these are the over the door hangers okay so um, you just go ahead and hang it right over the top of the door and what is this all crafted out of chrome okay. plated steel so this is really going to last right over the door they're super skinny so you can shut the door but they're super strong because again they're that steel so if you have guests coming and you just want to transfer their room and sort of give them a place to put their things and to hang their stuff you can but then when they're gone you can take it off the door yeah and put it back in the laundry room if it, you want. and you know and it's so portable easy to carry um, maybe for the men they use the uh, wooden hangers you could go ahead and stack them up and those are put thick it, and it still holds a lot yeah, of those yeah yeah um, up to 30 of these so because they're very very thick so uh, you know and it's easy again all different hangers you can stack up even if all your hangers don't match that's okay mm -hmm. You can do, do a mishmash of hangers too, like like this. You know, you can start organizing these because this is what we we, we struggle with. That, and that's I, the I disaster. Get one well, hanger first of all, out. my suggestion is, and this is my personal suggestion, if your closet has all those different types of hangers in it, the first really great thing you can do for yourself is go to QVC.com and look at the flocked velvety hangers because those are the ones that I use. Oh yeah, the clutter free. And I, the clutter free. Yes. And I love them and I have them in my closet, but I do fall into that habit of taking something off the hanger and then the hanger is just left there and then I end up losing my hangers that I know I invested my money in. If I were actually to get, because this is the first time I'm actually seeing this, if I were to get this at home, every time I take, you know, get dressed for the day, I'm gonna take my hanger that's yeah. now empty and pop it right on there instead of hanging it back in the closet to get lost again, and then I won't have that issue. It, it's so true. We always feel like, oh, I gotta buy more hangers no, because you I don't. have none you really left. Don't. A lot of times they're in the closet already, and so now you can put it on the outside of the closet or 
the, the inside, inside of the closet. I mean, look at this. This is like hanger heaven. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. So and whether it's the closet or whether it's the laundry room, if you would rather keep this in the laundry room area, this or just take it off the door and carry the hangers down to the laundry room. You can. There's so many different ways that yeah. you can do this because you know, it's portable. A, a lot of people do like to get more than one because they keep one in the closet and one in the laundry room just yeah. to get organized because, you know, let's face it, laundry is not like, woohoo. And I have a question. Yes. yes. <laughs> I don't get overly excited about I'm no. one of those that does not get excited about laundry. So, um, um, rats, I forgot what my question Oh, that's okay. Oh, no, my question for you, it was a personal question. So do you set your clothes out? Do you figure it out the morning of or do you do it the night before? Oh, absolutely the night before. No, I have in to do it the night before myself. Have to, have to. Otherwise, I think I lay in bed thinking, what am I going to wear? What am I going to wear? Right. So yeah, I always put the outfits together in, mm -hmm. the night before. I do the jewelry, I do the shoes, I right. do everything, the undergarments, everything. And you everything. know what? Just with 15 seconds left to go, I want to remind you of a couple of things. Customer top rated. This was so popular the last time it was on. I think it may have disappeared after the prison, after the show was actually over. Yes. But a lot of these have gone out the door in the past. And all this extra space we just got in the closet was just from the empty hangers we yes. removed. So think about giving your closet the extra space back. Under $20, all done out of steel, so it's not going to bend or warp on you. Thank you so much oh, for joining you, us this Sarah. morning, so Ms. Much Jane. Fun. And stay tuned because we're showing you some muscle action over here. And if you're saying to yourself, okay, I don't understand exactly what this machine is doing for me. If you wanna find out the types of muscles you will actually be working from this that you can't work out any other way, we're gonna tell you all about that later on in the program. F11434, three easy pays for you. So I hope you join us for the leg magic because it's been very popular around the world, actually. So that's gonna be fun. But in the meantime, we're gonna throw it over to Dan. Thank you, Sharon. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about what happens as we get into this transitional season between summer and going into fall. We're gonna be out there raking leaves, cleaning up, sometimes doing a little more physical activity than we were even doing during the summer. And what do you do if you are an individual that suffers from pain and suffers from a regular, consistent daily regime of being uncomfortable? 